guys, welcome to tonight's Celebrity Big Brother 2 chat. We're trapped in this, uh, in this celebrity vortex. It's so I'm... cold, I have to wear this blanket. It's episode <laughs> 6 tonight, and Julie, I must say, when, when Julie looks good, I will say it, and she, she did. She was looking beautiful. She was rocking the nude dress, the nude pumps. Mm -hmm. Her hair looked lovely. She got a new stylist, fluffy. new glam squad. She must have. She must have, because she looked, dare I say it, iconic. Whoa, Haley! <laughs> See, I give out compliments when they're warranted. Okay, good. Well, last time, Tamar and Dina were put mm -hmm. up on the block by Kato. Yeah, and Ryan realizes that even though, even though I'm not on the block, I still think I'm in trouble. I'm not going to miss those DRs. <laughs> <laughs> it's painful. Yeah, well... Dina and Tamar were not thrilled with Kato's speeches. It kind of sucked. Uh, Tamar kind of took it as a sexist slant. I have to say, when you hear what he said out of context, it sounds very sexist. Like, <laughs> like you don't clean up enough, go home to your son. That's yeah. what it sounds like. That's not really what he meant. Well... But, I have to agree that I would be upset mm -hmm. if uh, somebody had said that to me. Dina was upset too, but for a different reason, just because... She was really close with Kato. They had yeah. a really good thing going, and then pff, it's all gone. So she uh, was upset. How close were they, though, when she was saying, you know, like, nobody get down. Again, nobody I fall. think it was taken out of context. And they were, believe me, super close. They had this whole flirt man thing going on. Mm hmm So he goes and talks to her because he doesn't like seeing her upset. He wants to turn her tears of sadness into tears of... Kato? <laughs> <laughs> tears of a clown. No, yeah. um, but seriously, Kato has another plan in mind this week. He's not planning on getting rid of Dina or Tamar, but he doesn't want to reveal that yet. So he's yeah. just like, don't worry, things aren't as they, they seem, blah, blah, blah. Why can't blah. you just say you're not the freaking target? Because... He knows. Without naming somebody else. Because Dina is close to Ryan and Joey. It's obvious that they would be backdoor targets. So he doesn't need that getting out. Okay. Not yet. Well, Tom is this season's Justin. Pizza dance. He got the pizza dance treatment. He got the making coffee dance. <laughs> Coffee's a lot of fun. If you like it, why don't you have some? I'm not into coffee, but I'm glad I'm that have some. other people enjoy it. All right, well, Kato and Tamar have a little chat. Mm -hmm. She explains to him, look, you really um, upset me by telling me to go home to my son and I'm, I'm your maid. I'm a single mom by choice. I leave my kid all the time. Yeah. I'm glad they were able to clear the air here. I'm not sure that she's, you know, actually happy with him at this point, yeah. but at least they talked it out. He and is dying to tell her, though. I know. Ryan Again, he, target. he can't say it. He doesn't want it out there. And She's a big mouth, though. I don't blame him. If you tell him. Tamar, you might be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I thought that we had established this final four a long time ago. But yeah. But they revisited here because I guess they had some time to fill. Tom, Kato, Lolo, and Natalie, they're all working together. Yeah, I thought that was established in week one. Yeah. But, okay, maybe it just was never on the show. I feel like this whole week has been, like, a month long. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a lot packed into one week. So, obviously, because we've said it already, the plan is to back to Orion this week. Mm -hmm. But guess who was basically within earshot when this conversation was happening out on the patio? Ryan. Lochte. So, the door was open. He peeks his head out. He's hey, like, Hey, what's going on? What's up, guys? No, he goes, Hey. <laughs> Just wanted to get another look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly. Right when they're saying, What if Ryan wins the veto? I know, right? I don't think that he heard them. I mean, he Even if he did, would he know what was going on? I don't know. I don't think he heard what, he, what they were saying, but obviously he noticed that those four were together and he's like, Oh, crap. That's an alliance. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Uh, right? Yeah, so then he's yeah. talking to Joey, and he's like, um, I think I'm going up. And Joey's like, yeah. you're in trouble. You can't trust anybody. You can't trust any of those people that were outside. Nope, or anybody. Except for Even in real you. life. <laughs> Maybe they should just get a place together after this is done. And Maybe. Let it blow over. All right, well, anyway. 
All right. So Ryan and Joey, uh, they're going to try and get some info out of Kato. They corner Kato in the storage room and they're like, Hey, should we pack or what? Kato's like, <laughs> Joey says, yes, <laughs> I don't want anybody touching my stuff. Yeah. Right. Oh, he would have a meltdown. So Kato basically tells them it comes down to the veto. I don't know what else I can say to you. Like you're both options i'm sorry but it is what it is hey you know what he was honest and they appreciated that oh yeah i think it was handled really well on both ends yeah kato was really respectful about it uh yeah. and the guys were really understanding this is a game so they're gonna go pack right <laughs> and try and win the veto well it's that's time. the only way they're gonna stay yeah for the live power of veto julie was very excited about this Me hashtag too. very excited there's a lot riding on this it was such an anemic veto, though. It was just the crapshoot. Well, let's you talk about who's playing it. first. Okay. Well, we have Kato, Tamar, and Dina because they're the head of household and the two noms. Right. I wish they would have broken it down who picked who. I'm sure. Kato actually, picked I'm Tom. not sure, but I feel like in the past when they uh, were not able to show show the drawing, they had it online. But maybe I'm thinking of Big Brother Canada. No, I think you're thinking of like. Oh no, did they do that in BBOTT? I'm not sure. I don't remember. No, we saw all of that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's over the top. Yeah, I can't remember if that was on the US or Canadian version. I, I wish say every version was over the top. Mm. It was such a pleasure. Well, anyway, you'll notice that Ryan is not competing this, this yeah, challenge, but, but Joey, Joey is. is. And he's pretty much their only hope. And well, the competition was called Prestige Worldwide. Why? <laughs> no. Why? No, it was Worldwide Worldwide Roll Out. Say that Spit right. It Lock out. Eight. Yeah, I really liked the set, how they had the different movie posters for everybody. Yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Because they don't have enough time to do comic books, probably. So I this feel was like a little nod for them. You don't get a comic unless you've been there for a for whole a, season to earn it. You know what yeah. I mean? Right? Yeah, but these are celebrities. They, <laughs> yeah, these but are we didn't, athletes. We didn't have enough time to like learn about, you know. We already what know like them now. from so, life. Yeah, but like, it's different. It's different. Well, uh, yeah, it was. Um, you gotta was roll your balls close. around the obstacles mm -hmm. to get the highest number. And Tom and Tamar tied for the lead with thirty-five. Damn, I never thought that thirty-five would be the high number. Yeah, because it was from zero to a hundred. What'd you think of Tamar's shirt? Uh, I loved it. Not today, Satan. Loved. I wonder who she thought Satan was. It could be anybody. All right. We're all Satan. So we're all Spider-Man and we're all Satan. <laughs> and so we're, yeah, it we're was all tied. Ryan Lochte's. No, it was tied between Tamar and Tom. They did a little shootout and Tom ended up winning the veto. Which it seemed like everybody was really excited about. Except for Ryan and Joey. Them not as much. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time for the POV ceremony. Everybody walked in laughing. And they didn't even do speeches. No. No time for that. Nope. So Tom uses the veto to save Dina. Mm hmm And Cato runs up there, and he puts up Ryan. He said, uh, just get some more gold medals in the 2020 Olympics. We'll see. You're done here. I'm going to stick a fork in you. <laughs> yeah. So now so... they had time for the little pleadings, and Tamar said... Uh, this is amazing, and I'm a team player. And Ryan said, I'm a team player. I can prove it. I've been on relay teams, and I meddled. His explanation of it was kind of weird. Like, you have to be the best team player or something. Uh, his whole <laughs> speak this whole season was like, what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, um, he was evicted. Yeah, the vote was six to one. The one against Tamar was Joey, obviously. So I gotta say, Ryan had a really classy exit. He handled mm -hmm. it really well. He knew since Kato won that he was gonna be in trouble this week, so he had time to prepare. Well, uh, Ryan's picture was barely gray, and Joey was already making his case to Kato. He's like, "Okay, sure, you get rid of me at the next one, but then what? What are you gonna do? You gotta break that thing up. You can't. You can't. You gotta get I'm, break up those girls. Maybe use me as a pawn, but like, what are you gonna do? I mean, I'm it's Batman. It's damn it. It's I'm it's Batman. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then Ryan goes out and uh, talks to Julie. And oh, and Lolo was like breaking down in the lounge with Natalie. I think she was 
sad to see Ryan go and she had to vote against him, fellow Olympian, but mm -hmm. Natalie was like, well, he just came in and he bonded with Jonathan. It's a freaking game anyway, though. <laughs> this like, these people aren't dead <laughs> for crying out loud. Yeah. So Ryan talks to Julie and I did not envy Julie interviewing Ryan because she asked him a question and he totally just ignored her and was <laughs> like, I screwed up. <laughs> Why though? Give me names! <laughs> what did you do? I don't watch the show. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Julia is more knowledgeable about it this season. You I think, think she watches the celebrity seasons because she's like, ooh, rich people. Oh, maybe. <laughs> uh, she was really quick to offer up the hugs to celebrities. Right? Right? She doesn't do that for the regular season. All right. Well, the anyway, scrubs. she's asking him, like, you and Lola are probably going to be at the 2020 Olympics. Is it gonna be awkward? Uh, Julie. Don't jinx them. Do you know how big the Olympic team yeah. is? <laughs> is it gonna be awkward in the Olympic Village? In a summer freaking Olympics. There's hundreds of people in the Olympic Village for the United States, and you're worried about these two running into each other? It's probably like thousands for Could be, for the with US. all the trainers and yeah. everything. So, um, blah, 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 no heart, no feeling. Da, 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 da. Yeah, what? Did, is that an actual phrase or did he mean no hard feelings? Because <laughs> that's how I interpreted that. Isn't the, I thought that's why we were laughing. No, it was. I oh, okay. I didn't know that. I just was like, no heart, no feeling. I what, mean, maybe dead? that's a thing. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to Google it. <laughs> Let's see what everybody else says. I thought he was trying to say no hard feelings. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. I give him props for handling his eviction so well. That's though. when, like, when people say, "All I, intensive I, purposes," or "I could care less." It's I couldn't care less. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? All right. He's well, got eleven new friends, so that's awesome. I feel happy for him. Yeah. He said he has eleven friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, exciting twist. Tomorrow is this on again? Tomorrow? No, it's on Wednesday. We're going to find okay. out on Wednesday. America gets to vote for one house guest to get this new power of the publicist. They're going to have somebody come in with a cell phone glued to their ear. I'm just kidding. But no, they probably will. <laughs> power to the publicist. What was it they get, or power of the publicist? They, they, it's basically a veto. You can take yourself off the block. They made it seem like for a couple of times, but I think it's, it's only for the next time. I believe it's just you use it once, but I think it was oh, valid eligible? for a few okay. Uh, nominations. Please, please, please don't give it to Joey. I could just see Joey getting this because people are going to be like, oh, he's all alone now. We got to give this to him. No, we don't. <laughs> please, Guys. Please don't give it to please, Happy Time Harry. Please. We're begging you. <laughs> okay, nothing against him as a person. No. Just in the game. I just yeah. can't. I can't. Ah! Basically, everything we say is not about these people in real life. No. It's about them in the game. Yes. So let's just be clear about that. Yeah. But anyway, that's where we're at right now. So we're also going to find out on Wednesday who the new HOH is, nominations, mm -hmm. but you guys can learn all of that in tomorrow's spoiler. I can't wait. <laughs> so make sure you check it out. And until next time, much, much love. love.